Good afternoon, everybody. It's Jeff from New York, and today we're going to check out the MGM Grand here in Las Vegas on the Las Vegas Strip. We're at the very busy intersection of Tropicana Avenue and Las Vegas Boulevard, otherwise known as the Strip. It's a nice shot of the MGM Grand. We're standing in front of the Tropicana across the street for that shot. And across the street from the MGM Grand uh, is the New York, New York Hotel and Casino. The MGM Grand is the largest single hotel in the United States with 6,852 rooms. It's also the third largest hotel complex in the world by number of rooms and second largest hotel resort complex in the United States behind the combined Venetian and Palazzo. However, when it opened in 1993, the MGM Grand was the largest hotel complex in the world. When the MGM Grand opened in 1993, it had an extensive Wizard of Oz theme, including that green Emerald City color of the building that you still see today. The Emerald City attraction inside the casino featured an elaborate yellow brick road walkthrough complete with the cornfield, apple orchard, haunted forest, as well as audio animatronic figures of Dorothy, the Scarecrow, the Tin Man, and the Cowardly Lion, as well as the Wicked Witch of the West. All of this was removed in 1996 during a major refurbishment of the hotel and casino. We're going to enter the hotel and casino through the main Las Vegas Strip entrance, so let's check this place out, shall we? As soon as you walk into the MGM through the entrance that we came in, you come up to uh, Level Up, which is on the left-hand side. Level Up is changing the way Las Vegas views sports lounges. Level Up presents a new era in sports viewing. Located between the Hakkasan Nightclub and the Bed MGM Sportsbook at the MGM Grand, the tech-savvy adult playground features big screen TVs, food and drink specials, beer pong, and a whole lot more. And it should be noted that while Level Up looks like a great place for kids to hang out, no one under 21 is allowed in. This is definitely an adult's playground and arcade. Currently, Level Up is only open Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Friday, 5 p.m. to midnight. Saturday, 11 a.m. to midnight. And Sunday, 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. But if it's really important to you, I would check the hotel for the current hours since these days, well, when it comes to bars and food, nothing's normal anymore. That's Bananos New York Pizzeria. I've never eaten there. Maybe next trip. And as we walk through this huge entrance uh, here at the MGM Grand, we have Hakkasan, the nightclub, uh, directly in front of us. And this big circular bar is called Centrifuge. It's located right at the entrance of the main casino here. And right on the other side of Centrifuge is the MGM Grand Sportsbook. So this is a big, vast open space, and it seems like a waste of space to a lot of people, but I can imagine this area getting very busy between Limit Up, the Pizzeria, Hakkasan Nightclub, Centrifuge Bar, the Sportsbook, and all that traffic coming in off the strip. On the right here is Tap Sports Bar. The website says, eat, drink, and root for the home team. There's no better place to keep the live sports action in full view. I always wanted to grab a burger at TAP, but every time I'm here, it seems the place is closed. It's not closed for COVID, it's just that my hours and their hours never jive. But uh, on my next burger challenge, TAP Sports Bar is definitely going to be included. And this is the MGM Buffet. Of course, it's still closed. This is Mitzi, the Rubber Ducky Showgirl, who shows up on all my Vegas videos. As most of you know, there are hidden mascots, or some of you call them Easter eggs, in my videos. Mitzi shows up in all the Vegas ones. Sometimes she's easy to spot, other times she's quite elusive, so keep your eyes open while watching the video. If you spot her, note the time in the comments below, and if you're the first one, you'll get a shout-out on an upcoming video.
This is the David Copperfield Theater entrance, and his show is returning next month. It's hailed as the greatest illusionist of our time. Join David Copperfield for an intimate evening of Grand Illusion. When it does reopen shortly, the uh, days it'll be open will be Saturday and Sunday only. Sunday and Saturday, 7 p.m. and 9.30 p.m. There'll be a Saturday matinee at 4 p.m. Tickets are going to start at about 75 bucks. And as you saw right there, he won 21 Emmys, which is a crazy accomplishment for someone who's really not in TV. I guess it was for all his uh, specials that he did. And coming up here is Whiskey Down. True to its name, Whiskey Down features an impressive selection of more than 50 types of rare and fine whiskeys, along with handcrafted cocktails and other dark spirits. Keep in mind if you're visiting the hotels and casinos right now that reservations are a pretty good idea, especially places like Whiskey Down, which are really a nightclub type of atmosphere. Um, They don't charge you to make a reservation, but because of social distancing, you might not get in if you don't have one. Here we have a Starbucks and Avenue Cafe, the intersection of food and fun with its vibrant retro design. Avenue Cafe puts a glamorous twist on an old school Vegas. Slide into high back booths for a hearty breakfast of a made to order omelet and signature mimosas or linger a little longer over a sandwich or burger at lunch. The place opens at seven o'clock in the morning for breakfast, but keep in mind it does close around one or two o'clock in the afternoon after lunch. This is Crush from Jenna and Michael Morton of the famed Morton restaurant family. Voted the best place to party while having dinner, the highly social 5,500 square foot restaurant and bar is located at the center of the MGM Grand. This is Wolfgang Puck Bar and Grill, California Dreaming. One of the most recognized names in the culinary world, Wolfgang Puck reinvents American bar and grill food with an approachable, California-inspired cuisine in a casual and lively setting. Puck's Bar and Grill serves up his signature comfort food favorites like wood-fired pizzas, choice cuts from the grill, and a small bites menu that's as delicious as it is expansive, and probably expensive. And this, my friends, is La Tierre de Jean Roubouchon, a unique culinary workshop where every meal is prepared right before your eyes. Very French, very expensive. Another shot of Wolfgang Puck's Bar and Grill, and uh, it looks kind of nice, my kind of place, nice and bright and airy, and they serve those famous Wolfgang Puck pizzas. I'm gonna have to try this out next time I'm in town. This is the entrance to Cirque du Soleil's Ka Show. Currently, all Cirque du Soleil shows are closed down. I have a feeling Cirque du Soleil will come back uh, shortly after they lift all these capacity uh, bands on these shows. Unfortunately, I don't think every one of the uh, Cirque du Soleil shows will open again, though. The area we're heading into now is called The District. It's where MGM Grand has a lot of its more casual restaurants as well as shops. This is also the way to the MGM Grand Pools, as well as Top Golf. This place is called Loser's Bar. Spend an evening with country music artists in an intimate, no-frills venue for live performances serving classic spirits and a variety of beers on tap. Bear in mind, Loser's Bar is located right off the casino. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, please hit that subscribe button and smash that thumbs up. It really does help the channel out. Coming up here on the left is Ambria Italian Kitchen and Bar. The website says a moody Italian restaurant, modern in approach and design with layered materiality throughout evoking Milan at its best. What in the world does any of that mean? Here, let me just say it my way. It's an Italian restaurant and bar. It's got three dollar signs after its name, so it's expensive, but it's not prohibitively expensive. There you go. And here we have Morimoto Las Vegas. If that name sounds familiar, he was on Iron Chef. He was the Iron Chef on the Food Network. 
It's a Japanese sushi and steakhouse. You've been to those steakhouses where everyone sits around the grill and the chef chops things up really fast and plays with those shrimps and flings them around like they're gonna fall off the grill and hit somebody in the eye, but they never do. If you come into a place like this and no one at the table orders shrimp, I guarantee you the entertainment value will plummet. Coming up next is Tom Colicchio's craft steak. Chef Tom Colicchio uses only the finest ingredients from small family farms to create dishes bursting with flavor. Tom's also got restaurants all over the country, including New York City. I've never been to one of his steakhouses, and from what I understand, not so much from vloggers, but from podcasts about Vegas, uh, his steaks are pretty darn good. Four dollar signs after the name, I have to get pretty lucky in that casino. This is Emerald's New Orleans Fish House, showcasing comfort food with a modern twist this restaurant really knows how to serve up the new in New Orleans. I love that koi sculpture with the tail going down to the floor and the head coming up in another spot. And what's this? Emerald's got two dollar signs after its name. Why haven't I eaten here yet? These bars and wine and beer joints seem to pop up in the middle of nowhere here in Las Vegas. I wouldn't be surprised if I found some at the police department, at the grammar school for parents night, at the hospital, and perhaps even at the toll booths uh, along the highway. Straight ahead is International Smoke. I'm thinking it's a barbecue joint. And here's the food court at the MGM Grand. I'm pretty sure I covered this food court in my uh, best of food courts on the strip video. Here you'll find Pan Asian Express, Banano's New York Pizzeria. Hey, we saw one when we walked into this joint. Haagen Dazs, Nathan's Famous Hot Dogs, Tacos and Rita's, Johnny Rockets, and Original Chicken Tender. Coming up are more shops and restaurants, and we're uh, also going to hit the monorail, which is going to come up here shortly on the right-hand side. Monorail has been closed since the whole COVID shutdown. It's declared bankruptcy and someone's bought it over and I'm hoping they open it up soon. This is the most southern point that the uh, monorail hits. The most northern point is at the Sahara Hotel and Casino, uh, way up north on the strip. And there it is. Straight ahead is the MGM Grand Garden Arena. Lots of A-listers played there. The place has quite a history. I'm sure all those A-listers will come flocking back to play here once they're allowed to. On the right here is HO in Vegas Mexican Grill and Cantina. It's the spot for Mexican cuisine in the MGM Grand. You can choose from over 100 tequilas while enjoying your meal. This place really is huge, or grand, should I say. Uh, we haven't seen a lot of it yet, and we'll see all of it before the video ends. Right now, we're heading towards the pool and Top Golf. We're not going to visit Top Golf today. That's a separate video coming up soon. Here's one of the many pools here at the MGM Grand. I love that huge inflatable finger on the right hand side, but it slowly disappears. It's a shame. You know what they say, a man with big hands has a big finger in most of his videos. So we're heading back through the casino and we're going to make a left now and that's going to lead us to the registration area as well as the underground. Hey! Jeff from New York! What's the underground? Well, you're just going to have to wait and see. And here we are at the main registration area. It's at the back of the hotel, which a lot of the registration areas are at these hotels and casinos. It doesn't make any sense to have them uh, along the strip where uh, 
It's mostly foot traffic. This is where the buses and the Ubers and taxis pick you up and drop you off. And there's Leo, the MGM lion, wearing his Vegas safety mask, reminding everyone else to wear theirs. Metro Goldwyn Mayer, MGM. Hold on tight. We're now heading down the escalators to the MGM Underground. Not too many people know about this area um, because it's so far pushed back from the strip, but this is where Brad Garrett's Comedy Club is and a couple of other things. This is Pyology. Design, build, and eat. Pyology is a gourmet eatery where you can design your own artesian pizza. Pick your choice of fresh dough, sauces, cheeses, and toppings, and voila! You've got a piping hot custom pizza baked in a stone hearth in two minutes or less. Okay, I'm not going to get political here. I try not to ever get political on this channel, but this store America really cracked me up. Half of it was dedicated to Donald Trump, the other half to Joe Biden. It was split right down the middle. Coming up on the left here is Brad Garrett's Comedy Club, a very popular comedy club here on the Strip. And now we're back upstairs at the casino, heading towards the Strip where we came in. Check out the NewYorkVegas.com link in the description below. If you're planning a trip to Las Vegas, you could save up to 50% on hotels, restaurants, shows, and attractions. Don't forget to check out my book, 50 Attractions and Many Tips When Visiting Las Vegas. It's down at the bottom in the description of this video that you're watching. It's only $4.99, instantly downloaded to your computer. Tons of pictures and fantastic tips if you plan on visiting Sin City. If you put a buck in my cup, I am going to shut the fuck up. And you ain't gotta be a baller to give me a motherfucking dollar. Buck in the cup, man. Perhaps one of my favorite street acts and really doesn't require too much talent. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please like, comment, ask some questions, and most importantly, subscribe by clicking on the button on the left. You can visit all of my New York videos by clicking on the top right, or check out my videos on other favorite places to visit by clicking on the bottom right. Thanks for watching and I'll see you around the city.